Happening in Winnie, a young girl is recovering after she was hit by a stray bullet. No one heard gunshots, so initially she didn't even realize she'd been shot. This all went down last night during East Chambers County football game. Now, thankfully, she's doing well and she's back in class today. But officials want your help figuring out who fired the shot. Troll News reporter Amelia White is live tonight with a response from the school superintendent and the sheriff. Jordan Dage, it's really a puzzling scenario. The girl didn't hear the gunshot go off, and when she realized she was hurt, a bullet was the last thing she thought it could be. Our main question for investigators, was this girl targeted? A rogue bullet striking a young girl at a football game. It was a 22 caliber bullet. Has left investigators asking, where did it come from? It appears that it was uh, a stray bullet from somewhere um, out out of the school area and outside of the stadium. Investigators believe the girl wasn't targeted and says things could have been a lot worse. The bullet hit her leg while she was watching East Chambers play a team from Anahuac Thursday night. News spread fast about the girl's injury and Superintendent Scott Campbell has a message for the person responsible. You know, it's dangerous to shoot them up in the air uh, like that because uh, they, they can travel a great distance and and they have quite a velocity a velocity even uh, on the return down to the ground. The girl was taken to a nearby ER where she was treated, and that's where sheriff deputies caught up with her to try to determine what went down. Sheriff Brian Hartone tells us they're working to find out who's responsible and says even if it was an accident, they can still be held accountable. If you shoot a gun up in the air, you obviously do not know where that projectile is going to come down. And that projectile could very easily strike someone or strike a piece of property that is fully your responsibility. Investigators are tracking down leads and are grateful this dangerous scenario didn't have a different outcome. We uh, are so glad that the uh, East Chambers student is going to fully recover from this wound. Deputies believe no one from inside the stadium fired the gun and the bullet came from outside of the stadium. The student is expected to fully recover. In fact, she's already back in class. Amelia White, 12 News.